Round seven complete, first midweek round ticked off. We learn plenty here at my hot takes. One, super six. We have an unprecedented start in the championship with the top three, Preston, Leicester and Ipswich, all winning six out of their first seven games. In the past 10 seasons, only five teams have won six out of their first seven, and three of them, therefore, come from this very season. See if you can remember the other two. Get them down there in the comments. I'll give you them at the end of the video. Preston haven't just won six out of seven. They have six wins in a row, and they're undefeated too. With the latest victory, a 2-1 come from behind win over Birmingham. In second, Leicester certainly passed the have they had easy fixtures test by going to inform Norwich and winning 2-0 in the Wednesday night TV game. And Ipswich, four out of four wins on the road as they took advantage of Southampton's perhaps fragile confidence at the moment to score another win and a clean sheet as Amari Hutchinson's goal gave them a 1-0 victory at St Mary's. With those top three sides all projecting totals of around 120 points, history would make it very clear that we are going to be getting a regression to the mean, probably across the board. By whom and at what rate, though, will be fascinating. Can't fault the top three, though, at the moment. A cracking pace is being set. Two, a quick return. It was another goodbye for Neil Warnock following Huddersfield's two-all draw with Stoke last night. And I'm sure he particularly enjoyed a couple of lovely-headed goals as well from Matty Pearson and Ben Wilmot. Warnock leaves Huddersfield outside the bottom eight and they are above the magical point per game standard that should keep you in the championship if indeed that is what the Huddersfield owners are targeting. Hot favourite to take over is Darren Moore in what could be an extremely quick return to management after his somewhat surprising departure from Sheffield Wednesday in the close season. Moore had spent the vast majority of the past two years winning football matches in League One with Wednesday, but having taken them up through the playoffs, reached an impasse with owner Mr Chancery. Needless to say, the disruption has not helped Moore's former club, who played out a seventh game of the season without a win, drawing 1-1 with Middlesbrough at Hillsborough. We'll keep an eye on the vacant dugout at Huddersfield and see who ends up there. Just speculatively though, date for your diary, Sheffield Wednesday v Huddersfield, October the 7th, just two weeks away. Three, cloud nine. We've already bigged up the serial winners up in the top three, but there are another two teams who could hit the fabled nine-point week after winning twice already these past handful of days. Sunderland got their second win of the week, both on the road, both by three goals to one, and the impressive Jack Clark, who we boldly predicted would keep up his scoring streak, did just that. And Cardiff. I think we're in pleasant surprise territory here. They followed up their excellent home win in the South Wales derby over Swansea with a 3-2 victory over Coventry to go 2-2 two for two for the week. If you were listening carefully, you would have heard me say another two teams could hit the fabled nine-point week. But and it's a big but, they can't both do it. Why? Because thank you, Fixed to Computer, this Sunday, you guessed it, Sunderland versus Cardiff. Four goals, goals, goals. Plenty of goals flying in this midweek, and it must be said in pretty dreadful conditions around the UK. We had boldly predicted that Millwall were going to flip their 3-0 scoreline from the weekend, turn defeat into victory against Rotherham. That is exactly what happened down at the Den. Longman, Fleming and Bradshaw with the goals. Rotherham, five defeats in six in all comps. Bristol City's finishing was on point against Plymouth. Four goals in the first 33 minutes of that one for either side. Those wide men, Sykes and Bell, both on the score sheet. Again, five between the pair of them already. Plymouth, we know how good they are at home. And we also know they need to start picking up points on the road. Some absolute bona fide beauties down at Watford too in another goal-heavy first half in their tool draw against West Brom. The home side led after three minutes. 
They were two one down after 17 and then level again on 23. We will find out what Sam Parkin's worldy of the week is tonight on the Championship Check-In podcast. But I dare say you'll do well to see a team score two in a game and for them to be as pleasing as Ince and Martin's pair. Five unhelpful draws. A couple of unhelpful draws for different reasons. Hull nil, Leeds nil, is one you can interpret in several different ways. Leeds probably should have taken the lead through Rutter, which would have massively altered the game state. That said, after the red card for Leeds and a crazy miss at the end for Hull, you can see why both sets of fans will think this is a game that their team could and maybe should have won. Leeds, five unbeaten and three straight clean sheets. Hull, sixth in the table and six unbeaten. So don't be silly and misrepresent unhelpful for bad. It was 1-1 between QPR and Swansea. The Swans still haven't won this season and they led in this game for 85 minutes before Lyndon Dyke's 92nd minute equaliser. That means Swansea will be gutted not to get the first W in the column, while QPR will be disappointed that back-to-back home games has only got them a single point so far this week. We do say that you can't trust struggling teams to even beat one another, and the draws at Hillsborough and Loftus Road mean that this midweek we had four of the current bottom five play against each other, and not one of them could get a win. Get involved down there in the comments. Let me know what you think of my hot takes. Better still, get your own in there. For those of you waiting on the other two sides to win six of their first seven in the past 10 championship seasons, Reading in 2021 and Brighton in 2015-16 were the correct answers. Well done if you got those. And you can stay with the channel and click here to see my trip to Southampton on Tuesday to see one of the superstarters, my lot, Ipswich. They return with three points from a hard-fought win down on the South Coast.